are going to be doing a special piece of artwork inspired by this book, How the Trees Became Happy. It is illustrated by Emily Osborne and written by Ashley Solenberger. And this is a great book to help you think about how you become happy if you're not feeling so good. So I'm going to read you the story in a moment, but first I want to tell you what you're going to need today. For our project, we'll need a piece of paper to do a piece of artwork on, some sort of coloring tools if you want to add color to your project, and we're actually going to make a tree with a straw and with some sort of black ink or watered down black paint. So if you have watercolors, you could take a little bit of the black from the watercolors and put it in some water. You could take regular black paint and add some water so it's kind of liquidy, and we're going to use the straw to actually make the leaves and the branches of our trees. Now I have a reusable metal straw, but you can use any straw that you have at home. If you have a reusable one, awesome. I would suggest using that so you can wash it and use it again. So I'm going to read the story to you so that you can see what happens in the book and then we'll get started with our work. But of course we're going to begin with our mantra today so we can be super strong and ready to make our art. So say it with me. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Let's get reading. How the Tree Became Happy. Written by Ashley Solenberger, illustrated by Emily Osborne. The sun rose and the big tree raised her leaves and stretched, just as she did every morning. Today would be like every other day, she thought, as she stood tall in her backyard spot. The big tree was so big, she could see everything on her street. She looked up and down the street, same as always, she thought. But the big tree wasn't big enough to see past the red, yellow, or green house. She grew taller, but still couldn't see a thing. She threw down her acorns, but the squirrels ate them till they were stuffed. She dropped branches into the stream, but they just floated away. She lofted her leaves into the wind, but they blew over the hills. Under the weight of the rain, the big tree drooped. Each day was just like the last, until one day. Everything changed. The big tree saw a bright red truck coming up the hill. The red truck carried a little tree and parked under the branches of the big tree. Out came a man with a big shovel and a little boy with a little shovel. Together, the man and boy dug a little hole. The man and the boy plopped a little tree into the hole. The big tree liked the man and she loved the little boy. The big tree showed the little tree how to roll acorns down the hill and how to feed the squirrels. She showed the little tree how to have stick races in the stream. She showed the little tree how to grow tall and launch her leaves like confetti into the breeze. Every day, the big tree shared some sunshine with her new friend, the ever-growing little tree. The big tree was happy. Sometimes we just need a buddy. So I'm going to show you how you can start with your project. To make our trees today, we're going to make one big tree and one little tree to remind us that sometimes having a buddy that can be a friend to us will make us happy. So I'm using this kind of black ink, but again, if you just take paint and water it down with a little water, it's going to work perfectly. So I'm going to start by just making a thick trunk of the big tree, and then I'm going to start making a letter Y for the branches that come out the top here. Now, I want these branches to be nice and wet because I'm actually going to use my straw to blow a little bit more detail out of the branches of the tree. So I'm adding more of a puddle of my ink, then I take my straw and I'm gonna hold it right next to the end, remember to blow, and I'm gonna blow and kind of move my straw to get some different branches. Check it out. <gasps> that looks awesome. Kind of looks like a hand right now, but I'll keep adding some more. So now I can twist my paper, do another little bit of ink, and do another puddle. 
getting off onto my board. So I'm gonna keep adding some different kinds of tree branches for my tall tree and for my small tree. My trees are looking awesome. They're kind of like fireworks exploding and I imagine these two would definitely be friends. So I'm gonna take some inspiration from Emily Osborne, the illustrator, and practice some of these really fine little swirly lines, maybe some sort of hill lines to kind of follow the direction of the horizon line where the hills have the sky and the earth meeting, as well as maybe even some of these little circle clouds. So I'm gonna draw with a marker. You can use a thick Sharpie or just a regular marker and start to map about where you want some of your other details to be. So I'm gonna get my little heels in there, maybe start to do some of my other details. And mine's a little bit wet still, you might wanna wait till your painting is done. But then you can go back in and start to map out where you want your tree details to be. So this big, huge tree is probably gonna have some big, huge leaves. It's going all the way off my paper. And then this little guy, you know, I might just do a couple little kind of indentations of where the edge of the tree would be, almost like kind of a clue. And I'm gonna help by filling in my space with some of those extra different sort of marker lines. favorite page in the book is definitely this one. First of all, I love the colors and I love in the story how things start to take a little bit of a turn. So we're going to use this same style of how we've kind of making blotches of bright colors to help fill in some of the things on the leaves of our trees as well as the ground and reminding us that everything can change to make us happy just like the little tree made the big tree happy. So I'm going to paint those in. Just make sure your painting's all completely dry and I'll be using a little bit of uh, watercolor just because I find that this is going to give me some nice bright bold colors. So I'm going to paint over the top into some different kinds of splashes and maybe leave a little bit of it white otherwise as the artist you can decide what you think makes the most sense for you. certainly a fun creative way to practice making trees especially two trees that are friends remember sometimes the way that you can practice being happy is to find a buddy that's going to make you feel better that you can teach things to and is going to turn your life around to make you feel extra special so today we are going to do just a little bit of mindful meditation at the end of our lesson today and for this we're going to put one hand on the chest one hand on the belly and simply just take in two very deep breaths and on the way out, make sure you're releasing completely from your belly. Here we go, relax those shoulders. Together, here we go. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our lesson inspired by how the tree became happy. Remember, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We'll see you next time.